I'm going to get myself a Cooper Cowboy. Hey guys, welcome to Jerry's Live. As always, I'm your host, Amy Gardner-Dean. And we are on JL121 this week. We're doing mixed media, uh, well, mixed, yes, mixed media abstracts. abstracts. Abstractions. Media Anytime you're around Ophelia, it's an abstraction. That's true. Or that just, true. or distraction. A I don't, distraction I'm not sure which. and an abstraction. And all and of a those. Hotness. A hot mess of good things. Uh huh. So if you are playing along at home with us and you are interested in seeing any of these interesting, beautiful supplies we've got strewn out in front of us, you're going to go to the cherriesartorama.com website, type in the search box JL121. That's JL121, and you hit enter, that'll bring up the supply list with all the cool colors we've got, the brushes, the whole enchilada. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who may be newer to the show, you're in for a treat. And it's kind of sad that you've already missed two episodes of Ophelia oh, well, through the right. years, because you've done right. it the first year we were on, Yep. and then you did it the second year, Third and now you're charm. back. Uh, will it... <laughs> Third time's a charm. Third time is a charm. Uh -huh. So Ophelia Staten, and she's actually one of my very, very good friends. So yes, we may definitely. be a little, may have to be. A little chatty. Yeah, a little chatty, a little silly. That's little what silly. we do when we're together. Yes. That's that's what we, and it's important. It, it is. It's definitely important. It's important. It's important to have an art tribe oh, of, you of artistic fun sentence. people around you. That is So, true. and Ophelia is one of the members of my art tribe. She does Mixed Media Mondays for us on the, the Jerry's YouTube channel. That Jerry's is correct. Jerry's YouTube channel. So if you enjoy this episode and you have not seen enough of Ophelia yet, that's a good place to find lots more. So I'm going to turn this over to you because I want to paint and have fun. So okay. tell, tell me what All to do. Alrighty. So, um, wow. It's always just so great to be here, and thank you for having me again. And today we're just going to um, paint in my usual abstracty fun way. Um, it was a challenge for both of us because Amy um, does not like my loose, or she does no, not. I love your loose she stuff. She does not I... usually participate <laughs> in my just... looseness as I do. However. Um, I am very loose and intuitive and just go and wild Amy, and wild crazy. and free. Yeah. And Amy is very masterful with planned out notes and then you just have wild hot mess going on over here. And so um, it was a challenge because she said, let's paint large and usually I paint small. Um, and so every single day before I even show up, to paint or like get to a larger painting, I will usually start with something small. Like yes, you brought, okay, good. You I brought some show and tell um, because I use this as a great way to just warm up, if that makes sense. And I started doing um, these little tiny two and a half inch by three and a half inch pieces of paper as just kind of a warm up situation where if I, if I do something every single day, I have to get better. Mm -hmm. That's first. Mm -hmm. um, and since it's such a tiny piece of paper, if I don't like it, I really, there's no love lost. And right. then I go from here and I've kind of turned these into like little note cards to send the friends and mm -hmm. such like that. Um, you can see my daily painting adventures, if you will, on my Instagram at Ophelia Staten, because I always forget. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so... Oh. This is like my my warm up before I go big, but my idea of big is like an eight by eight. And Amy was like, no, let's go big. And yes. I was like, 10 by 10. And she was like, no, no, let's go big. And so, this is still not as big as I wanted to do. But she she, had, she I had, had a little bit of a panic attack. We yeah. had to, we had we to, had to dial it, it back. Because I thought, <laughs> so then the first thing I thought, well, there we can't have pressure. So I don't want you to feel as though we start this and we finish this tonight because this is just going to be us kind of painting and playing and you get to see some of my process and um, just having fun. So if we're ready, let's get started. But before we get started, because <laughs> you, there are steps and there are all sorts of things, oh, um, yeah. we are playing with Charvin paints. 
And so I keep a sketchbook and whenever I get paints, I always want to just test them out and see what's gonna go with what because we don't need all the colors to kind of make something sing. You just kind of pick your favorites. We can enjoy them visually, the, I, yep. but not you use them all. You can have them all, but yeah. you don't need them all in mm -hmm. one painting. And so um, I always have my sketchbook handy so that I can test which colors I think are gonna work well with other colors. And I keep my trusty color wheel handy so that I can just make sure that I'm like visually pleasing. I don't even know if I'm making sense. It just yeah, it visually feels pleasing good. like her composite, her uh, yeah, complementary color oh, scheme and here. See, like you. Uh, and there August, we are. Thank you. There, there we are. We just want to look fancy all the time. <laughs> but so I keep this kind of sitting on my wall as I work, so that I can kind of like eye and make sure that I'm still playing in the right field. If that makes sense. So I would invite you whenever you pull out your colors to start your painting. Just kind of have a play in your sketchbook and make sure that your colors are going to work well together and then you're going to be happy with the results. And we are using Charvin Extra Fine Acrylics, acrylics today. Yes, acrylics because I don't know how to use oils. Acrylics, it is. So I'm going to move. That's, that's a show for another time I, that I you're going to be forced into. So. I, and I'm going to force you into a show with me because I want you to teach me your watercolor. I want you to teach okay. me all your magic. But for now... Let's get into some paints, shall we? Yes. So, um, now the way that I, ugh, this just makes me <laughs> nervous the way already. That I, <laughs> yeah, this, um, so I always pull out my Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black okay. Pencil. So what I get first? Um, and you, if I'm terrified and, you know, well, I'm gonna have a lot of stories and if you know me, like Katie does, my stories go like this. So, um, but I was mortified to paint on a canvas before because I was always afraid that I would take this large surface and ruin it. And it's like, but you can get a new one, it's okay. And I'm like, yeah, but I will ruin the one. Um, so I've, I've kind of tricked myself now, I don't know, but I always start with my canvas and I put a little bit more of the gesso surface on yes. it before I showed up and that kind of lets the canvas know that I'm boss. That's it's not precious that's anymore. It's because you've I, already. I'm I'm something. the boss of you, canvas, <laughs> and so then once it's take dry, um, I take my jumbo jet black pencil, um, and I just kind of finally do this. <laughs> and now, guess who's really boss of this canvas? Close Me. Your eyes, Amy. I know. Just, just can't just tell. Just I just it. can't tell it. It's mm -mm. the boss. Just, a, just, just put something. yourself down some Ophelia, marks. you might have to put your hand over. Her. Agreed. There you are. And I'm going to show you Good job. why oh, I, like that. I like using <laughs> It's just not central. It's it's, not, I'm already it's like, okay. I'm unhappy with it's that okay. placement. Because I'm, I'm a little bit of a freak when I do this. Because I put it down and then I immediately take it back like I'm apologizing. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's what I felt like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so, so sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> But um, the reason why I like this pencil is, A, I can get myself a really dark mark. This yeah, one yeah. is an oil impregnated, I always giggle when I say it, but an oil impregnated <laughs> um, charcoal. And I love that, and I'm just gonna use my finger here. I can take this and make myself some beautiful grays when I mix, and I can also scratch back into wet paint. Mm. So I'm gonna move this again because as soon as I put my marks down to show my can canvas that I'm the boss, I know if you're ready, you're ready. I will then immediately get a brush and some white paint because I just like okay. to then get that under white first tone. Um, oh, and that's an important lesson because if you went with a yellow, yeah, yeah. then you're going to make yourself a greenish because mm. it goes that yeah, black. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just kind of get myself a white paint. And um, I will see how it's making that beautiful grayish color. Mm -hmm. That's just my favorite. And whenever I am painting, I always keep an extra. Look at Amy painting in the line. I noticed. I did this. done some up over um, here. You just can't see it because it's uh, white. There you are. I want you to just kind of. We should have done some yoga or something before we started to just completely loosen up. I don't know. Let me. 
I know that would be me too. Um, <laughs> and looks like exactly if if there's shots involved, I'm at the yoga. And then I'm, we're I'm not sure otherwise. Okay, so I, now I've I've just kind of got oh, that you're scratchy to cover mark it. back there. I remember I take it back because now I'm sorry. Oh. And this then becomes like the almost the blending medium of all the paints that I'm going to add. Did you? It's okay. I just you. That's it's totally fine. <laughs> this. Gosh, we need to have more painting beads. Yes, I'm not do. kidding. So, I've got myself some paint down. I immediately think to myself, like, okay, it can only go up from here. And now here we go. I've got my colors poured out, and I'm going to back up to my sketchbook again. Hey, why don't we stop talking so much and just paint? Huh? That's a concept. Um, <laughs> I've got my blues and greens as my pretty beautiful palette going here. But then I'm going to use my orange as like my spice color. So that one will stay out of my way for just a minute. And I want you to think about when we're working on this canvas as though um, my job right now is just to cover this like you're going to put on your clothes for a fancy party. So I'm just putting clothes on. Again, I'm just putting color on. We've met each other. We have. That is true. <laughs> but we're going to pretend we're going to a fancy party. Oh. And we're just going to put... <laughs> we are the fancy party. Can we party. talk in <laughs> like <laughs> Thurston Hell, but we're going to a fancy party. Oh, that is true. We're oh, yes. Right. Wow, this just turned weird. But okay, so we're going to a fancy party, and all I want to do now is get this surface covered. So I'm just going to start putting right. some paint on. And... The only thing you're concerned with right now is just getting the clothes on. Here we Doesn't go. No matter what color you use. Sister. What? Huh? What? Look at you. And thanks to Amy, we have ourselves some spray bottles so you can kind of spritz it and make it move around more if you want. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to leave white space, that's totally fine with you too. You don't have to necessarily cover everything but I am just going to get myself some color and uh, there goes the city not being fancy anymore because then I got my hands involved fancy party turned into McDonald's real quick. that's true because um and so as you're working you just kind of think like where you want your colors to go um, I don't even think about where I want my colors to go, to be honest. I'm just getting color on. You're thinking too hard, Amy. Thinking too hard, Amy. I'm making a mess. Look You're at grounded. This. You're grounded. Okay. And so, um, I always find if I ever get lost in the process, I will immediately revert to mark making. And by mm. that, I mean... Um, just scribbling with some graphite. I like to use, Ophelia probably should have taken said bracelet off because I noticed I getting did that. It, I noticed I... that too. I'm going to take this off because now it's, it's getting in my way. And you know what? These come off too. Um, but I like to use the sides of my hands to kind of blend things out. Um, this canvas is a lot larger than I imagined it. So, That's why um, <laughs> Um, I should use a bigger, but it's okay because you know what? We're just here having fun. Um, like I said, if you get lost in the process, you can revert back to mark making. And by that, mm. I mean, um, I like to use like a, just a regular number two, not number two, a harder lead pencil to make like baby marks and scratch into the paint. Here you are, love. One thing you. Um, to just make scratches into the paint and that kind of will uncover things that are underneath and Ophelia has to do a better job at keeping point. I love your attitude today. Well, what were you just saying? That seemed a little snarky about what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> what was oh, that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's somebody. Somebody. Ophelia, okay, will you push your buttons a tiny bit? You're starting to get off screen. Toward you? Yeah. We love you just the way you are. Oh. Are you gonna sing a song? I was about to say that's a song. I could, but yeah. I don't think anybody here wants to hear that. <laughs> I would love some song making. Alrighty. And so then we're just kind of getting said this is a lot of pressure because this thing is pretty big. Anybody else notice how big this is? 
Oh, very bright. Can I mush with my Focus eyes? on the color. Focus on the those color. Those are amazing. That is true. That is. Oh, this is really gratifying to it, rub it, it around. Doesn't it feel nice? Like, I just love these. Um, the more space you have, the more room for colors you have, Ophelia. That is true. I just feel like this is such a large surface. It might take me until 2020 to finish <laughs> it. 20. <laughs> this is. And the more I paint, I'm like, good lord, we're not done. This is a lot. So, um, I also love to use so well this blended. little guy because I'm using this. I know, I know. I, so that I can get rid of a brush stroke, I just kind of come in and do like that. Mm -hmm. And then I I put this gloves in a bottle on first. But yeah. do you see what I'm saying? It just yeah. kind of smooths it out. I don't, but yeah, there. Oh gosh, I'm so in love with Why you. Why does that right feel now. that much grosser? Get out the side of your hand. I don't know, but it's just always been the way that I do it. I just, ugh. I don't know, and I keep extra white paint around for if I ever feel like I've taken something too far. I just start blending it out with white. So, I am going to take some of this yellow, and. I love to use these, um, what do we call these, palette knives, here I am, <laughs> palette knives to um, put color down and scrape into color and, you know, I'm mature and I really don't even use a brush, but I do. Um, and so, alrighty, and blended, but then... Oh, I'm gonna take some of this. My brushes are gonna look like your brushes. I got this bad feeling. It's, it's okay. It's okay. And you're using the um, their falter, but I just mm -hmm. feel like the, I use them for gesso. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I guess like, I need to. I'm just already using them for oil, and I'm like, oh, you, you know, use them for oil. Go. Yeah, these probably ought to go in the mm. here, so they don't get. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um. As I'm putting color different places, I don't, I just like to then, I don't even know what you call it when I'm working, where it's like a push-pull, so I will put some one place and then repeat it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a, a technicular. You're balancing the paint. Thank now. you very much. I've, I was going to say there might be a technical term for that, but I just, I don't know what it is. So, I'm just going to blend. And then copy Amy because she's making marks. I like some of the marks I lost, so. Uh huh. And let's do this. <laughs> I also love coming in with a super dark. Ooh, that's pretty. And. It really does help if you like get to know your colors. I know that sounds weird, but then it's effortless. No, yeah, yeah, it makes when sense. When you're working, I'm gonna I borrow agree. some white paint. Can I borrow some of your white paint, lovely? You can have um, as much of that as you want. Okay. And well, let's get white paint out. Um, just because I always seem to go through that so much faster, I just made it go all the way too wrong. What did you and then? What did you do? Who? Me? You. Yep. Oh, I'm just hanging out with my bestie pink. Y'all getting a little quiet over there. Am I really? I get, okay, it is so hard to talk. And yes. Right. So now we're going to talk about the painting. Yes. Because I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you're right. We're too I, quiet. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how you make these really beautiful marks where, where you, you can tell you do if you just all the time. I know. I know. I well, yeah, you're right. It's the more. Oh, that's a very good point. Whenever you're um, okay. So I had a painting teacher, or I took a painting workshop. Phenomenal, and she taught me so much without even teaching me so much of that. Make walk in, and I would look over, and like some lady had already painted. She started on a rooster, and I was just kind of putting my paints down because. You know, I, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I signed up. That's why I signed up. And so she, the instructor would come over to me and go, oh, just put some more marks on it. And I would be like, okay. So then I'd, you know, kind of do one of those. And I'd look over and the lady had finished a rooster. Now she's on to another rooster and her canvases were ginormous. 
And I would sit there and kind of look around at everybody and the instructor would come by and go like, oh, well, you know what? Why don't you just go like, you're like I, talk to everybody. <laughs> and then I'm sitting over there like, you know, she said put a little red on it. By the time she came back, I had, it was covered in graphite because that's what she told me to do first. And then it was covered in red because that's what she told me to do second. And so um, she finally stopped by and now mind you, the, the one lady had finished her whole series of roosters and somebody else had painted everything else and I'm sitting over there in with this like red entire and graphite. class time? Oh, it was six weeks. So oh, every oh week I was I like, go, yeah. no, 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 no. So, what the heck is <laughs> the rooster lady over there? Yeah, every week I would come back and I just could not get it. And she wouldn't say a word to me other than like, just keep going, add some of this or keep going, do this. And I kept thinking like, this class was a rip off um, <laughs> because I couldn't figure it out. And so she finally came up to me and by then it was like, oh, rooster lady, you like red, that's your favorite color. Here, take all of my reds. Cause I clearly, I wasn't a great enough painter to own the paints that I had. And so I was started giving my supplies away because I didn't even know what I was doing. And so um, she finally looked at me one day and she said, you know what, you keep going, your paints will talk to you. And I was like, my paints have been silent for six weeks. What do you mean? <laughs> um, but she was so right in that the more you do it and the more you paint, that's when you the magic happens. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if, if that's the right word, mm, but no, I think the more right. that you paint, the better at it you become. And then it's almost like second nature. I don't even, like you make it's a like mark. It's like a cascade effect. It's just, it just takes that long. What well, takes that long to build up and, until all of a sudden it kind of. It clicks yes. for you. Um, and she was, when I say like now, um, the one thing that I struggled with before was like a how to begin and how to of course end it um, and the beautiful part is it's it's almost now like they do speak to you because it you just know when you're done mm -hmm. and you just go like okay that's it um, I just I don't she taught me so much like I said with without even seeing a word and it, it was because she let me figure it out on my own and I could only figure it out on my own by doing the work mm -hmm. um, so she would never touch my canvas she would never like oh well here let me just fix it for you nope oh, she you sat there uh -uh. for six weeks and watched everybody else like because they had already um, what's that thing where people say like you put your 10,000 miles on your... 10,000 hours of practice before you. your expert is on. That's it. You put your 10,000... Well, you just say that whole thing all over again. <laughs> I forgot. You put in your time. You put in your time. And it, it was totally right. But I sat there that whole time comparing myself to where everybody else was on their journey, which oh, was yeah. why I wasn't getting it. And it was telling, it's saying, true. And they're just it's like, so I didn't get true. it. No, 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 no. Hey, can you just talk for a second about how you have to I love talking. a bottle on? Everybody's how? worried about you touching the paint. Oh, yes. Um, okay, so this is or a not. barrier cream, um, which then allows me to like rinse it right off so that tomorrow I can show up at work yeah. looking fancy without color. Well, and it kind of protect pores in your skin so you're not absorbing the there paint. you are yep yep yeah i and, and you're right i probably should we're not using any cadmiums cobalt that anything that's going to hurt us anyway because yeah. i'm not going to touch so them. i should not have eaten it earlier just kidding just kidding wow well, just I kidding you the, i know your salad look festive. <laughs> <laughs> that's true but um yes so i always end up using that because even though I have a million brushes at my ready, somehow my hands always, always, always end up getting in it for something. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, all right, and I'm trying to figure out, oops, I got myself some yellow. You just do. Um, so see, I keep, it's hard to talk and paint. It's so, here we are. What do you want to talk about? Because um, what you do? Oh, look at how make, you're making I'm, yours. I was trying to dry brush with my finger. I love it. I am gonna have paint all through this apron. I have a feeling. No, I promise okay. you, your apron will stand up to all of this. It'll all right. It'll literally stand up on its own by the time you're done. I feel it. I feel it. Okay. And then 
I think I'm ready to start putting in some of my, no, I'm not. I tricked myself. I feel like it looks like Gotham City before the bad guys get there. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> I legit meant to do that. Um, but I think I am going to work on my center here. I feel like it's a little bit too separated from everything else. Um, and then I'm going to start adding in my spice color maybe. And then, hey, yeah, let's see. Is it bad if I start looking at this composition and go, yeah, this is not working. Because actually to... they were asking some questions about how yeah. you were making decisions on composition. I don't know. I was just like following those lines and trying to kind of make some negative and positive shapes with it. Can I show you one thing? Yes. Before it's, I got to go back to like my this, sketch. Because I'm getting ready to go like this well, with some white. And the thing is, up. now, yep, you can totally decide that, you know what, I don't think, um, but... Whenever I'm working, and I guess the only thing that stays in my head, and you probably all, she's a master, so I don't know why I'm saying this to her, but. <laughs> Not that far. But... Oh, there you go, right okay. there. Okay. Right um, perfect. Like a, <laughs> I don't even use it, because I don't remember it, but um, that's probably the only one composition-wise in my head. Like, I try my best to just make sure nothing goes dead center. Everything else is kind of fair game, but. It's because you're far more of a master than Well, I they am. know rules, rule thirds because we talked about because that. Because you're the master teacher. Composition. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. Look at us. Okay, okay. I did not know this. Look at me tying in all the shows I know, together. right? Okay. And it actually was not even planned. <laughs> well, it's because you're such a master teacher mm. that I'm you the master teach me. Of disaster. Well, I feel like that's my job. Ophelia, <laughs> yes, one of stuff. our friends who's in Australia. Oh, I know, right? Wants needs to us know. to come and teach them private lessons. I'm on my way. Yep. They want to know if you ever have a plan for the design before you start, or if you just go. The way that I made the marks, I just I then go, and um, and it took me a long, long time to get there, um, because then I was ruining it for myself. Um, Katie shakes her head yes because Katie has been on this journey with me for maybe eight years ish. Something like that. It's been a long time. Um, but I was totally ruining everything about how joyous, joyous it's been that long. this should be because I was so fretful over making sure that it mm -hmm. looked like something or making sure that it looked perfect or making, and that's not, for me, that's not what it was all about. For me, it was pulling out some paint and just playing and seeing where it goes. And um, as you know, I hate to admit when Katie is correct, <laughs> but she is so like this should be fun because if it's like they will make another canvas tomorrow, as long as something doesn't take my birthday away, it's it's okay. <clears throat> and so um, I've just ended up. Nobody died because you put a wrong mark on a canvas. There, that's, wow, well, Katie, she's a, she's a teacher, but she's painting me. It took a long time to get Ophelia's paint on canvas. It took, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I don't know what it was about it, but I just thought, I can't do that. I, those <laughs> canvas are for, like, fancy, real artists, and Ophelia's just a person that likes to play with stuff, so why would we ever give her a fancy, um, a fancy canvas? So I would always, always, always just play in a journal and play in a journal. I'm, I promise I'm gonna move it back. I just need what, to, what, what, you're sorry. Fine. Okay, I, I moved myself out of my square for a minute. Dang it. I know, <laughs> because. Dang, 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 dang. But it's also to be said that you put in your hours doing that over the years that is true. and you've finally gotten to that point. So you probably reached your 10,000 hours and then finally got to the point where all this is intuitive and you are enjoying it. Is there an award for the 10,000 hours that I've reached? <laughs> right. I feel like there should be, but it's true. It's it's totally true. I um, it was a long time coming, and I'm I'm just thankful you're still my friend because I put you through a lot of stuff with that one. She would go like Ophelia, just literally put paint down, and I was like, but no, I'm really scared. <laughs> and she. Can I Bring it back to the rule of thirds for just uh -oh. a quick second. Absolutely. Um, is the master. Maxine would like to know if there's a focal point which needs to follow the rule of thirds in abstract paintings as well as 
for example, a landscape or something like that. Because this, with this, you're using more color for that type of thing. I mean, landscape, you can use color too, but you're good. using form overall as the initial draw in a landscape where this color can play a lot more, I think, a powerful role, don't you? It feels I, good. I want squares. It feels good. It feels good. It just, I don't know. I feel like that's my go-to. It just feels good. I don't know why. And The proposition is why it does feel good. But Maybe the, it's got to get yeah, you, I have no idea. It's pleasing to the eyes is it when the composition is on point. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking with it. I wish I could be like the grand teacher person. That's why we have her. Cause I just uh, you're the teacher. Today. I just do it because it feels good. It just feels it feels so magical when I am painting and I feel like everything just goes so wonderfully in the world when I'm painting. Um, and so that's why I keep doing it. And I think that's why I don't ever worry about what it starts out looking like or what it ends up looking like because it just, it feels so great while I'm doing it. Yeah. What does it feel? Good. It feels so <laughs> good. It feels so great. I don't, mm, like all of the problems go, why, look at me with 53 brushes in my hand. Wolverine hands. Wolverine Whoosh. hands. But it just feels so great. And, um, I honestly just love playing with it. The thing is, if I get to the end and I leave it and sit it in my studio on an easel mm -hmm. and I come back and I look at it the next day and if it doesn't feel good anymore, I can just paint right over it. Or, um, you know, this whole time we could have been flipping these around and seeing it from mm -hmm. other ways, but you know, we're just kind of putting color here and putting color there and I don't know, just having a good time with it. Yeah. I feel as though, any more questions? I just always like Ooh. to hear you say that when you're on, because yeah. I watch yours and you go, okay, any questions for me? And I'm like, I want to be you. No questions, but a bunch of our viewers were really excited to have you on the show. Today. Are you for real? Yeah. yeah Thank you guys. Like 12 comments was, yay, Ophelia. Oh my God. Okay, I'm see that you. makes me feel so wonderful because um, I just know me as a disaster. <laughs> Not a disaster, it's hot mess. I, oh, that's true. I just know, my daughter bought me a sticker the other day that said hot mess. And I Did said, she? I love You know daughter. me well and you're grounded. Mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> <laughs> you know me very well, but you're grounded because the truth hurts. And I certainly, um, I don't know if you, I just feel as though if we're having fun, then it's okay because Life, I, okay, now I've got all the hands. Um, yes. I'm a high school teacher, and so at life, Monday through Friday, eight, seven to four, in my case, is hard enough. And so this situation has to be fun. And that's just how I roll. I don't know. Yeah. So you get, see, I can't talk and do it. I'm trying mm -hmm. my best. I'm so... You can do it. I'm trying my best, but it's not. Um, so, but you tell me what else. Tell me anything else. Any questions for me? Any? Hey, girl, please just stop talking. They please. like the fearlessness that's happening up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just appreciate you guys liking me. And Heidi sees a lighthouse in the bottom right Ooh. corner. Of your oh, painting. yeah. Bottom right? Yeah. yeah. I see it. Hey, Heidi, door. thank you. Call me later. <laughs> <laughs> Tina thank says your hair looks fabulous. Oh, thank see, you, Tina. <laughs> We're best friends now. Thank you, Tina. Um, yeah, that one was a big chop because I don't know. I think I explained it on my show at the beginning or the end of the summer. Um, I don't technically remember when it was, but I always like to think of my haircut as like a rebirth. Like a, it is. It's a, very much it's like some beaks rising from the ashes. There you that? are. So I did it. And then as I was doing it, you ever sit there and you're like, oh, man, I probably you should have done up. that. But then it's too late. Yep. So you just oh, have to roll yes. with it. Um, so I rolled with it. And here we are. And I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, now I get more paint time in the mornings for sure. Because uh, yeah. I just get to get up and 
like legit roll out. But. Too much water in my brush. Oh, I know. So I was tripping. Yep. Lee has a question hey, about Lee. the roll of water and what you're doing right now. Do you only use it to fence paint? Do you just use it to rinse your brushes? Are you keeping your brushes wet? Oh, that's a perfect one. Um, I do like my. Why am I talking like I'm directly talking to Lee? But you I, can. I'm pointing Fine. to you. But I do like my paints to kind of flow and dance on my canvas. Um, and it's easier when they are a little bit more, flu not really fluid, but my yes. brushes are damp coming out of. You get, you get these nice kind of glazy layers uh -huh. where you can see colors uh -huh. under and under. And oh, under. see, that is true. Um, so I do like the fact that um, coming out, my brushes coming out of this container are pretty damp and I kind of dab them off on my paper towel over here and go in. So th yes, they are a little bit damp and that water does help things to, I don't necessarily wet them down or water them down, but I just use water, the wetness of my brush to help them flow. So, probably made no sense because I usually no. don't make sense. But. Kimmy said no spritzing. Who's Kimmy? Hey, Kimmy. We've, we've been spritzing. Um, well, I've been spritzing. Yes, because I talked so long in the beginning, she did spritz to kind of keep her paints wet, and I will usually use um, a water bottle to spray my paints. I will also, if I feel as though I can, remember when I said I was using the side of my hand to kind of um, blend out my colors? If I feel, I just got paint on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Yes, it did. If I feel as though it's dragging, I will kind of spritz down my canvas a little bit and then it blends nice. Okay, stop looking. It looks like calamine lotion. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Let's hope it's you need to get a full body apron. For <laughs> real. That would literally. Like the people with the bubble wrap suits. It's just. <laughs> that would literally. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this over here. And how are right. we on time? Because. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Right. All right. I feel like I can paint another one. Just kidding. Just <laughs> we got kidding. more. No. There's more no, canvases right keep, over there. Um, no. No. Where this is. Uh, this Whoa. has been too What's big. What's with the back pedaling, Ophelia? I'm ready to go home now. Um, I just not too big. end up. Oh, and I'm sorry. I got another. Not really another story, but these brushes. I don't know if you've noticed in that set that they come, and I'm gonna be dripping but i'm gonna borrow your napkin for a second i'm gonna do that first because <laughs> did no, i get it okay good enough i, I um, want to do the mom and go <laughs> that yeah <laughs> but i don't know if you noticed in this brush set get rid of the pencil and i'm gonna pull them all um you have an incredible amount of brushes that are now all dirty but i like these little tinies to get yourself yeah, in nice. some like really good, nice, tiny mm -hmm. detail. Um, I don't know, I just, I find that with these little, see here I am trying to talk and <clears throat> at the same time, um, but these are great for adding those details. So remember in the beginning when we started and I said, it's almost like putting your clothes on to go to a fancy party. Yes. I love these little brushes because then I can put on my jewelry in that instance where these come in and they are great at helping me put in detail. Um, so I just love the fact that you get quite a few littles and some really nice big ones to get this whole painting done. So speaking of done. It's, we're not nearly done. How do you know when you're done? Your paint will speak to you. That's what my teacher said. That I and I, I promise it's it's you just kind of get that feeling and it's like that's it and you just throw your hands up and you walk away and if you're me you feel like you've done aerobics for about forty five minutes <laughs> yeah. and you you're sweaty but oh my god it's just a great feel okay now my hands are dirty but it's a great feeling and you look at it and you put that last mark on and for some weird reason like that mark just comes out perfect and you're like that's it and you call it done and your done might be totally different than mm -hmm. her done and her done might be totally different from somebody else's done and that just honestly comes in 
you know, I guess I could have saved myself 75 of those 10,000 hours if my teacher would have just said to me like, okay, this step, this step, this step, but it's all in the figuring it out that makes you grow. Right, would you have become who you, right. who you there are? There is no if she easier hadn't done that. answer. It's just, you, you just kind of get in, you stumble, you fall, you get back up, realizing that it's only pain and it's only, it's play and it's learn and it's frustrating and it makes you, there have been so many times when I've literally wanted to like close the door of my studio and set it on fire, but then I miss it so much a couple of days later. Um, and so you, you just kind of know when it's time for you to take a break and go walk or read a book or watch a movie or do something totally different from this because you just need a time out. Yes. Yeah. And so I am great at putting myself in a timeout when it becomes too, what's the word? Like, it's not personal, but it's like, oh my gosh, that thing hates me so much. And yeah. I hate it right yeah. there. Overwhelming? Overwhelming. That could be it too, where you just have that, it's now a mutual hate. My paintings hate me. I hate my paintings. You're not playing nice. <laughs> right. We're not playing nice anymore. Sit down um, and walk away. I have to just walk away. And that's when... I will literally go read a book or um, go veg out on art videos or um, anything but paint. And that will usually last for about two days. Um, I will then come back and do something very mindless like um, let, clean that studio of mine or um, get in my journal with watercolors and just sketch. Okay, I don't sketch really, but doodle. Um, or just something that's really mindless, but you're still in your space. Maybe it's prepping your canvases with gesso. Maybe it's varnishing or painting the edges of other canvas. Um, I, as long as I'm in the space and I show up in the space, then I'm okay. Um, one thing that I did start doing, because in my studio at home, I purchased a substitute. Sus this is literally me in my studio. I, you know, I walk up there and I'm all bad. Like, yep, today I'm going to do something. And I literally go over there and I'm like, huh, and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Um, because it's, I just, uh, it's going to take a while. And to take all the pressure off, it's like, you know what? God, if I did this. And so that mark becomes seven marks and some color. And then, but anywho, so um, you just, you learn who you are and you learn your style and you learn why you love all of this by just showing up every day and doing it and your it depends on how much time you have um it depends on what you actually feel like doing but um you just you do it that's i guess that's that's my speed you just you do it. Well, there's something important in realizing that just because a painting isn't successful doesn't mean you haven't learned something from it. You are such a masterful teacher. You are. And it's true. It, that's, there are tons of mine that get painted over. And a lot of times I will even say, like, when does it become illegal for me to put that much paint <laughs> on a canvas? Because, okay, that had orange in it. Because um, <laughs> there is just, oh, and see, this is why I love doing what I do because um, for some that could have been a total disaster where my brush had orange but I'm okay with it it's it's a part of this whole process not everything has to be perfect everything has a reason for it now we're just getting philosophical let's I just love that that little mistake of orange did not completely ruin everything do you know what I mean mm -hmm. okay no she she's done she doesn't even care right now. She's in she's her zone. In, she's, zoned in. she's in her zone. And I so I wanted to smell my orange. You go right ahead. Can you feel it? I mean, can you reach it? Yes. Cuz I am just goofing off with Poppy has a question. Hey Poppy. Would you recommend a complete painting neophyte to start with abstracts or should she start with something a little more structured? Hmm, can matter? I just offer one um I started out trying a lot of things like drawing. Um, I took a, a landscape class. I took a portrait class. What was I doing Can in I just, there? Yes. What? I did. Every, I tried a lot of things 
and the one that intrigued me most was the one that I stuck with. Now it was hard. Um, I don't know. I stuck with it because I like the fact that in this there is no road map. Like mm. I, I start and I have to figure out where I'm going. Where in that portrait class, like I was legit supposed to leave with a picture of the portrait I brought. <laughs> I was not happy. My teacher was not happy, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, but I like this being there is no map. I just I kind of figure it out as I'm going. So I would suggest trying a lot of things and seeing what you like. But Amy might have something probably far more. I think better. as long. I, I, okay, so as long as you take some time to learn some color theory and some composition, mm -hmm. it's irrelevant which one you do because both of those things are applicable in every single. Every single what? She's always got to be brilliant. Always. No. Can I change my answer? As long as you take some time to learn color theory <laughs> and what was the other one you said? Um, composition. Composition and color theory. I'm going to go sign up for Katie, find me a color theory class tomorrow, please. I'm going to find me a color theory class tomorrow. And I'm going to find me a composition class tomorrow. And um, that's what, that's what I'm going to do. Because one of these days, I'm going to get this thing. You'll see. For right now, I just kind of goof off. And I have a whole lot of fun doing it. And um, what this whole thing has done is help me find a tribe of cool people. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I think when I finally decided to just, like, let go of what it was supposed to be and enjoy it, that's when the whole world of it opened up. Yes. Like, find yourself a tribe of people that support you. And just enjoy it. That is all. I don't know. Well, and even just, it's, the more you're around creative people, the more you want to create. So mm -hmm. that you, you don't let as many things hang you up. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like. And you know what? The more you're around creative people, the more you want to create. That's the way I feel. I just trademarked yours. <laughs> That's my statement. Trademark. I kind of like it. The more, oh, I'm going to need to put that on my... Can somebody make me a sign that says, the more you're around creative people, the more you want to create? Can you make me a sign? I'll say Amanda, Amanda's the, 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 Amanda's the writer. The, Amanda's yeah. the letterer here. That mm -hmm. is true. Um, but it is, it is very, oh, there's that brush hiding. This is why I need a lot of brushes, because then I can't find them. But it is very, very true. You just find what you love and do it as often as you can. Okay, I really... This is bad. It is not bad. No, no, no. I now I just don't want to use brushes anymore because now I'm just having. I'm like I would rather. Uh -huh. my fingers. Fingers are honestly. It's it is. Fingers are. Honest. It's just a lot of fun to kind of. Then I feel like I don't take it too seriously. Yeah, that's kind of uh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know how you get your your jumbo jet that black i cannot um it the space it. has to kind of try okay i'm dry my more. fingers okay that's but probably my problem it kind of has to do you see how much darker my mark gets as opposed to uh, in a yeah, light yeah okay it i think it's because mine be. i've been this is really mm -hmm. wet uh -huh. any more questions or have, am i over time no, no we minutes. get 10 minutes 10 minutes how do you guys know the time and i don't know katie was showing me when you weren't looking time. oh Thank you. See, I don't pay attention, which is why I didn't even realize we were alive until you started talking about <laughs> it. What? what are we doing? I literally, I was like, why is she yelling all of a sudden? What's going on? Because we were just talking. I know, like, right? Hey, so what's for dinner tonight? And then you're like, hey, I'm Amy. And I'm going, what, what did I miss? But okay. Um, alrighty. So I just end up playing. And when it does not feel like play anymore, that's when I realize I have to take a step back. And um, it, I don't know why I'm even trying to like make myself finish this when I realize it's, that it's, it's I, um, okay, Ophelia really can't talk while she's trying to make a serious <laughs> mark, but I always find that if I, I don't know, I just kind of let it sit for a while and goof off with it for a while. Oh, see that brush has orange on it. And that is not what we want yet. Um, 
but it may, you know, I can, I usually get in my studio every day and I paint for about an hour or so. Um, I'm that weird person that wakes up super early every single day so that I can paint. Um, and that was just a trick for myself when my kids were little. Yeah. Um, because I found that as soon as they woke up, my day was over. I'm throwing things. Hold, please. I'm going to disappear. <laughs> Here it is. Um, if I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, but um, so when my kids were little, I found that I had to just find some way. You, you know how when you're very... Um, I don't even know how to put my story into words, but I got that like craving that I wanted to create something. And as soon as I would try to do something, you know, it was like I would, my son would go, mom, and I'm like, oh, and I'd go downstairs and um, back to doing whatever it was with him. And then I just had this itch to like create something. And so I started tricking myself to get up earlier. And I've just, my son's 19 now and I still, wake up super early every single day to paint. And I usually start with a little and then work my way up. That little is almost like a, a stretch maneuver and a warming up maneuver. And it's then- It's your yoga. It's my yoga. And by the time I finish that little, then I feel like I have some confidence to move on to a bigger piece. And then, um, um, then I'm kind of, well, not really fearless because I just, <laughs> n n but I feel like if I can at least get a little one done and get one mark on my bigger canvas, right? then I'm okay. And I've already stolen all the paper towel. I'm going to share with you. There you go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a messy painter. Can you use some I feel as though, how, yeah, many, can have, how many more hours do we have? Cause, about five more minutes. Are you okay. serious? Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave. Yeah. I don't want to leave. Um, but so I just I feel as though as long as I get that done in a painting session where um, I start with that little Ophelia focus I start with a little I get that little done I make a mark on that other large one and I do keep several going at the same time mm -hmm. um, just because while something is drying oh it's it's okay it's not my studio you okay. can. <laughs> me calling the messes oh, if you want. This, this but, is much oh yeah, I know. Those get really, yeah, like, yeah. they that's hold yeah, water, that's, water. That's what, yeah. But, so we're gonna let this drain a little. You go right ahead. I don't want this top so bright, so I'm gonna dull it down some, and what about, let's just do this, to be fair. When it's time for us to stop, somebody tell me to stop talking. Okay, is that good enough? Four minutes. But, I don't want to go. I legit feel like we just started. Doing oh this. my God. Thank you for, he's grounded. You know what? If what you're watching this, Steven, you're grounded. He's what? in Massachusetts now. But what if did he do? He, um, okay. Uh, how many minutes do we have left? See you how fast that, Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. So when I was a brand new painter, and for those of you that know me, you're just going to roll your eyes. But anywho, I was a brand new painter and I'd like saved all of my money for the longest oh, time. No. And I, like, I mean, I walked into that Jerry's Artorama like I was boss. And I whipped out my money because they had ordered it for me. And I, I picked up the full set of the Karin Dosh Neo Color 2s. And I took those puppies in my car and buckled them in because it was a long ride. And then the whole way home, I started going like, who am I to have $300 crayons? And so I got them home and I legit like set them up on the shelf like so and they were precious and I was so afraid to touch them because they were so very expensive and I wasn't good enough yet to play with them and so my son had a friend over and the one rule that we have is like you just never go in my art room unless you have my permission well he had his friend over and they are cracking up laughing and I'm like what are they laughing at and so I go up stairs and I get about halfway up and I realize that they're in my art room and, and I thought okay well you know it's they could be playing with their cars and I could hear like and they would crack up laughing like oh. and so I How old I they? get they were probably four ish oh. five six eight ish oh. I don't remember but in here um so I get up to the top of the stairs and I just <laughs> 
it makes me scared even talking about it because then oh, I just no. kind of sat down oh, and no. it was crayon palooza. Oh, but it God. taught me an important lesson. Lesson number uno, someone will use your precious supplies if you, you don't. don't. Yep. So pull out those beautiful things that you've been hoarding, not hoarding, but yeah, take, yeah. holding on to because they're just too fabulous. And he did teach me the lesson that if I don't use them, you know, somebody else will. And he did. He just didn't know how to use them. You're grounded, buddy. You're grounded. Um, and so that's where it was like. You know that pizza money? Yeah. Not that coming this month. <laughs> that's yeah, that's how you punish You're eating in students. the cafeteria yep. all week long. But so it was, um, that's that's the same child. Oh, my gosh. Who is now, um, we still crack up about that one. He and his buddy Tyler, um, they're still friends. Those I never bought myself another. Still friends because they're having to pay your yeah, crayons. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they are. I'm telling you what. But I never bought them again because um, I then decided I must use all of my beautiful things because those were beautiful and precious. And so I'm I'm gonna work on this some more at home because it's looking a little too geometricy. But I just love that you've just totally let go. You almost have to go into like a a trance state, what do you call it, yes. when you get in your zone? Oh yeah, totally. And crazy. then you just don't even think, mm -hmm. you're just like in your zone and you're going. Um, because I find that once I stop and start thinking about something, that's when I'm more prone to then like get stuck and go, ooh, but you just kind of put your I music on. When I Is that it? That's why I drink wine when I Ah, uh, you just that's go with I the just flow. Drink wine. I just <laughs> drink Diet Coke on the rocks. Whoa. I just drink, um, Coffee. I love coffee. Mm. <laughs> I'm now much more in love with iced coffee. You're welcome. I'm not kidding. Oh, that was that, the greatest is that who gift. you can blame it on? Uh-huh. That was... I feel like I'm taking us over time. This is the one show oh, that yeah. will go in for She's 700 hours. Okay, so that's all, folks. Thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. Katie's like, oh, we're done. <laughs> we hey, are what's so next done. Week? Oh, that's right. What's next week? <sighs> Not Ophelia. No, no, She's fired. No, I don't remember. I, I, I don't know. It's a surprise. You know oh, yes, please. It's a soft pastel landscape demo oh, featuring oh. one. Yeah. That's going to be great after <laughs> Look this Look at one. Judy's face in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ophelia. Oh, we're done. Thank you very much. Yeah, this was really fun. Oh, oh next yes, week. Next Sorry. week we are doing a landscape with soft pastel. We're gonna just demo and have fun and try some soft pastels and w watch me do something else. Yeah, I'm very totally not comfortable with doing. So. Totally structured. Yeah, and see, it's good that you got me used to yuck on my hands. Uh, at, yeah, and now we gotta go wash our class. hands. Um, well, thank you. Yep. This no, was gosh, awesome. thank you guys for having me. Um, check out Ophelia Staten on Instagram. And, and Mixed Media Monday. Mixed Media Monday. Why am I on pointing the Jerry's there, but Mixed Media Monday on Jerry's Artorama. Mm -hmm. And just enjoy the journey. That's it. Have a yes. good night. Play and have fun. Play, have fun, enjoy the journey. Oops, going the wrong way. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks for watching <laughs> us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for putting up. Thanks for you guys, too. Yes. Thanks for the questions. Time for a video to stop talking. <laughs> Two years later. Are we? Yeah, I know, right? Um, is it over? <laughs>